protect themselves with next to nothing. It's a special ABC 15 taking action event. And we think you'll take something tangible away from tonight's demonstration. ABC 15's Lexi Suter is live for us, starting with a scenario most of us can relate to. Walk us through it. Say it's dark out, you're walking to your car, you may have some mace with you, but are you really prepared should someone attack? That's where we freeze this scenario. If you were in this situation, would you have time to even grab your weapon? If you follow this advice, you may not need to. You got a problem? Yeah, I got a problem. Hey, hey. About every 22 minutes, someone in Arizona is the victim of a violent crime. Leave me alone. Get away from me. I don't have any change. Get back. One reason why Jeff Pennington is improvising ways to fight back. And it's just a quick one of those. Option one, throwing a handful of change. I guarantee if somebody walked up right now and I threw it at them, they're going to freak. Blue, shiny, unknown objects coming at your face. It may not hurt you, but it buys you time. 1,001, 1,002. If you were two steps from your car, you're back in your car. Option two, a tight hold on a key. Don't do this. Hey, we don't want it way out here. All you need is approximately a quarter inch. And that way you've got nice structure there. This tactic. And it's going to be a slash. Can do some damage. This is a very jagged key and it's going to leave a very jagged cut. And option three, a rolled up magazine. Any little pop is very painful. It'll help you create some space, really a barrier, and help you to gain control. It's very easy. It's gross motor skills. It's just being aware of your surroundings and being aware of what it would take to basically disable somebody to get away. Pennington estimates the average attack takes only four to six seconds. So know how to use your hands and mentally learn to stay aware because you may not have the time to reach for your mace, your taser, or even your gun. Very aggressive. Get to the point. Get home. Be safe. Stop! Are you done? As for this key, get a look at this. This is actually a fake key you can get for just a couple bucks at the hardware store. It is sharper than a normal key. And make sure you hold it like this so you've got a good grip on it should you ever need to use it. Reporting live tonight in Phoenix, Lexi Suter, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, simple add there to the keychain. Lexi, thank you. Developing tonight, a warning for any of you looking to book a vacation in Mexico. Nearly a dozen families coming forward after one of their loved ones died or had a close call.